COPD is a chronic respiratory disease that results in difficulty breathing due to narrowing of the airways within the lungs. There are two primary types of COPD, and that is what we're going to discuss in this video. So if you're ready, let's get into it. COPD is the fourth leading cause of death in the United States. It is caused by exposure to irritants such as cigarette smoke, air pollution, and chemical fumes. The symptoms of COPD typically don't appear until middle age and the disease progressively gets worse over time. As previously mentioned, there are two primary types of COPD, emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Each type has key similarities and differences that must be understood by respiratory therapists and medical professionals. First, let's talk about emphysema. Emphysema is an obstructive disease that results in increased lung expansion due to air trapping. It causes irreversible damage to the alveolar walls, which results in permanent enlargement of the air spaces distal to the terminal bronchioles. This makes it difficult for a person to exhale air out of the lungs. Chronic bronchitis is a type of COPD that is characterized by increased mucus production in the trachea and bronchi. This results in a productive cough that occurs for at least three months of the year for more than two consecutive years. When it comes to appearance, a patient with emphysema is often referred to as a pink puffer. That is because they have red or pinkish skin and a barrel chest due to increased lung volumes. A patient with chronic bronchitis is often referred to as a blue bloater. That is because their skin indicates that cyanosis is present and they often show signs of peripheral edema. When it comes to cough, patients with emphysema generally only cough up a small amount of secretions, while patients with chronic bronchitis cough up copious amounts. Patients with emphysema tend to have diminished breath sounds on auscultation, while patients with chronic bronchitis have ronchi, crackles, and wheezes. Patients with emphysema often show signs of severe respiratory distress. This includes pursed lip breathing and the use of accessory muscles of breathing. This is not the case for patients with chronic bronchitis, as they tend to only show signs of mild respiratory distress and the use of accessory muscles is less common. Since both emphysema and chronic bronchitis are obstructive diseases, both will result in decreased flow rates and an FEV1 percentage of less than 70% after a bronchodilator treatment. This is due to an obstruction in the airways of the lungs. Unfortunately, at this time, COPD cannot be cured, but there are a number of treatment options available to help manage the symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. Some examples include inhaled bronchodilators, inhaled corticosteroids, lifestyle changes such as quitting smoking and avoiding exposure to irritants, pulmonary rehab, low flow oxygen therapy, non-invasive ventilation, and mechanical ventilation in severe cases. The treatment method will vary with each patient depending on the type of COPD and the severity of their signs and symptoms. If you enjoyed this brief overview, there are some other videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you'll also find helpful. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy my friend.